sharing. But there is no provision. Sharing cancel, but share. Is your PPT open in your uh, laptop or whatever? Laptop, laptop. Share, share is there, but uh, I, I can't click on that. It is a cancel only option is left. Otherwise, there is no provision for share. Share button is there, but uh, no no provision to get in. It is cancel. Yes, only option is left. I can't click on. A oh, window, yeah. even it is like that. Yes, Dr. Hishito, can you listen to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So did you find the option? Uh, is your PPT open on the screen? Yes. So uh, your entire screen and then share and then cancel is there, but uh, only cancel. I you can have to opt share. Is it not working? Share is there, but uh, I am not uh, granted. There is no problem. Uh, I, I can't uh, press that button. Ah, I saw it. Uh, maybe I'm not permitted yet. I'm not permitted yet. Otherwise, yeah, I mean, in Zoom, Zoom system. Uh, yes, sir. In Zoom system. When only the host permit me to be co-host, I I can enter. Yeah, yeah. Here also, system. I think it's the same thing. Um, okay. Because before the program, I want to at least have a trial to save time. Okay.
And what about my audio? Is it okay? Madam, are you talking with me or with some other else? I'm not. Your voice is not audible. Hello. Yeah. Sir, I am telling that. Yeah. I am telling that there is that option present now. Yes. And in that option, the second option is present a window. A window. A window. Yeah. Yeah. So you choose that option, and okay. in that you select your PPT window, the window which is having your PPT. Share. It appeared okay. Then mm -hmm. uh, there is no share is there, but there is no system open. Uh, so firstly, you have to open your PPT, sir. Yes, I open. And then, uh, when you choose this present a uh, window, choose the open PPT window. Again, again, let's just let me try. Present window, then uh, PDS, right? That, yes, sir. That uh, PDST, things like that. That blank one. When I click, the share button is okay now, but now when you I have to select now, you have to select the window. Select your PPT. Yeah. The window which has your PPT. Just one minute. Mm -hmm. You are sharing your screen, but uh, my uh, no, sir, it is, not... it is your screen. You are sharing, but you are sharing the wrong window. Uh, you have to share your PPT. A window, right? Then the PPT is there, it should be open. And share that window only, which yes, has. And then we we'll just then share. But again, nothing appears. Yes, the, the here. Have you opened your PPT? PPT. Have you opened your presentation? Your not, no, 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 not open. So, sir, you have to open it first, me. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Then... I will proceed from beginning again. Yeah, it's okay, sir. It's okay. We understand this is new for you. 
Uh, just let me again try and then see. Then, yeah, my system is open. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I'll try again. You please observe. Is it okay? Yeah, you have to open your... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is done, right? Yes, you did it. Okay, okay. And then let, let me try. Full screen. Whether it is working. Okay. Okay. Then you can go to that uh, slideshow option in the PPT. Slideshow option. In the PPT window, this PowerPoint window, you have this slideshow, fifth option. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Or simply the press simply press F5 on your keyboard. F5. That is F5 on your keyboard. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, this way is also okay, sir. No problem. We can read the text. And the images are also clear. We can start with, uh, let me introduce you to the audience. Just, just one minute. I will, I, will, I will close this and then... Or I, I will just keep like this. Yes, sir, that's okay. No problem. No, no problem. <laughs> okay. Namaskar. I am Jiveni Sanghale, Sanskriti Vibhag, Mastradesh Shasan Ki Aur Se. Sabhi Shrota Gano Ka Hardik Swadat Karti Hume. Hamari Ek Dirg Vyakhan Mala, Jho तीन जुलाई से शुरू होकर अभी तक जारी है और आगे लगभग एक महीने तक और ये निरंतर जारी रहेगी इसका विषय पंच महाभूत पर आधारित है उसका ये चौदहवां सत्र है प्रत्येक शनिवार एक व्याख्यान आप लोगों के समक्ष प्रस्तुत किया जाता है जो पंच महाभूत के विभिन्न आयामों पर उसके किसी न किसी पक्ष से संबंधित होता है अभी तक हमने जो वक्ता आमंत्रित करे हैं हिमाचल प्रदेश उत्तर प्रदेश महाराष्ट्र केरल मध्य प्रदेश आदि कई प्रांतों से आंध्र प्रदेश कई प्रांतों से हमने वक्ताओं को सुना और आज हम हमारे भारत देश के तो भाई कृषि को इसी विषय पर सुनेंगे नागालैंड जैसा कि आप लोगों ने हो सकता है कुछ लोग गए भी हों और अधिकतर ने नाम तो सुना ही है उत्तर पूर्वी क्षेत्र में एक छोटा सा राज्य है यू तो भारत का प्रत्येक राज्य अपनी भौगोलिक भिन्नता के चलते सांस्कृतिक वैविध्य से पूर्ण है किंतु नागालैंड एक ऐसा प्रदेश है जहां जाने पर आपको लगता है कि यू हैव एंटर्ड सम डिफरेंट लैंड यू हैव एंटर्ड इन टू कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट वर्ल्ड एक अलग ही दुनिया में हम प्रवेश कर चुके हैं ऐसा हमें महसूस होता है उत्तर पूर्व का एक दूर अंचल जो अपने आप में एक छोटा सा भिन्न विश्व है उसकी भिन्नता के कारण अनेक है किंतु जो मूल कारण है वो है उसकी जनजाति संस्कृति इन जनजातियों का एक एक जीवन समृद्ध परंपरा रही है और वो परंपरा पर्यावरण से प्रकृति से बहुत परस्पर संबंध के साथ और बहुत पर्यावरण सम्मत राह चुनकर आगे बढ़ती है जो विकास है वो भी पर्यावरण सम्मत होता है 
जो उनकी रीति रिवाज है जो उनकी मान्यता है सभी में धूरी में कहीं ना कहीं प्रकृति आती है और जिसका परिणाम हम आज भी वहां के प्राकृतिक सौंदर्य में देख सकते हैं प्राकृतिक सौंदर्य में उनकी प्रकृति के प्रति जो सम्मान है उसका किस सीमा तक उसके अधिकार क्षेत्र में एंटर होना है इस बात पर जो उन्हें आज भी बोध है वो उस वहां के प्राकृतिक सौंदर्य में प्रतिबंधित होता है और डॉक्टर चिशी हमारे जो वक्ता है मैं उनके विषय में आपको ये बताना चाहूंगी कि वे इंडिजीनियस कल्चरल सोसाइटी दीमापुर नागालैंड के डायरेक्टर हैं और नागालैंड प्रदेश के गवर्नर द्वारा सम्मानित पात्र हैं सम्मानित व्यक्ति हैं नागालैंड के कल्चर पर आपने कई शोध पत्र लिखे हैं कई पुस्तकें लिखी हैं और क्षेत्र में फील्ड वर्क भी काफी उस कल्चर के संरक्षण हेतु उस कल्चर कंजर्वेशन हेतु आपने किया आज डॉक्टर किशी हमें एक नगा ट्राइबल ओकलोर के विषय में उसे सुनाते हुए प्रकृति के प्रति जो धारणा जो मान्यता नगा कल्चर में देखने को मिलती है उससे प्रतिबिंबित उसे परिलक्षित करते हुए अपना व्याख्यान देंगे मैं हमारे वक्ता को आमंत्रित करती हूँ कि वे इस विषय पर अपना उद्बोधन व्यक्त करें डॉक्टर चिशी आई एड्रेस यू एंड रिक्वेस्ट यू टू काइंडली स्टार्ट योर लेक्चर एंड प्रेजेंटेशन गुड इवनिंग आई वुड लाइक टू थैंक मैडम पापना फॉर giving me this opportunity to give a lecture on our timinaga tribal folklore and i anticipate that this presentation will be a great help for each and every one of us to know the culture of other people which you are not aware of and i pray that i'm and i hope that uh, this insightful folklore will benefit us in many ways i'm going to present uh, i'll give a lecture on a supernatural realm of muchipili is the name of a person and a tagaliu is also a name of a person of a siminaga tribal folklore to begin i will first summarize i will give the summary of this folklore Tipu, a courageous hunter on a lookout for his prey, found an alien soulmate. He came to an unknown destination, a foreign land. On the trail of his father-in-law, and conquered his dream girl's heart. Not too long later, somewhere in the midst of his life journey, a villain Muchupili disrupted by taking. Kaulips life. Kaulip indicates here uh, Tagalio. Tagalio. The other name of Tagalio is Kaulip. Deceived Tipu and Tipu is the name of a person, a man, the hero of the folklore. Deceived Tipu in disguise of Kaulip at village stream. However, her dream of family life with Tipu did not last long. from her burial place sprung up atum we call it uh, nagal tree and a tobacco leaf plant wherein an addictive spirit dwells in it in a like manner the remnant of kaulip tagalu regenerated into different forms at every interval of time first a bamboo shoot that was collected for consumption cooked in a boiling pot on a fire then to an orange fairy which got engaged in humanitarian service later turned to a human and became second wife of tipu in a short while when kaulip the tagalio falls sick 
and was bedridden to aid relief gave sunbath but unfortunately evaporated into water and ultimately on the spot of where the evaporated water flowed in sprang up a beautiful lily flower here is the story there existed a person by name Tipu and Kaolip. Tipu, a courageous hunter by profession, and Kaolip from a wealthy family of alien. During harvest season, a wild boar used to destroy Jum Pedifil of the villagers. Dr. Hashito, uh, do yeah. you want to change the slide? The slide. Do you want to change the slide? Yeah, 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 I'm changing, yes. Slide number two, three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sifu and Kaolip. And every uh, wild boar used to destroy Jum Pedifil of the villagers. So every apple hunter tried for their prey, but none succeeded. Tipu by then was still a young man, but his passion for hunting led him to attempt sharpen his equipment to take up a life risking job to save his people's property. On his way to hunting, met an old witch woman. She advised Tipu, my son, it is not a real normal wild boar, but of which be cautious to overpower, otherwise you will rather be a prey for your safety. For your safety, you need to first craft seven bamboo fence. Behind which the fence watch over the board. As advice, Tipu skillfully crafted all the seven, uh, all the safety measures. On the expected time, a wave of wind blew and wild boar appeared in the June paddy field along with its wave. A witch wild boar could first sense the presence of human in the vicinity and started violently attacking Tipu. Tipu got defended behind the entire seven bamboo fence and then getting his chance, took the advantage of jumping on the wild board and pierced his spear. The injured board ran for survival. Tipu kept chasing it and at last reached the destination of a wild boar that happened to be of an aligned family. Tipu was surprised to see a father of the family calling. So, so, so. This is the local language of uh, calling the pig. And as wild boar entered inside pig's tie, locked it with an iron bar. Tipu a cowlip noticed a stranger man, Tipu, and reported to her father. Her father, on seeing Tipu, invited him to come and sit inside a board. Handsome and athletic Tipu and beautiful and charming cowlip were fallen in love from the very first sight. Tipu and... Uh, yeah. Tipu approached for courtship to Kaulip's father, but was denied on the ground of being a foreigner. However, Tipu's love for Kaulip could not stop there. He persistently bothered his would-be father-in-law for the consent of their marriage. With much pressure, Kaulip's father decided to test Tipu's manhood war skill. Called Tipu and said, In my rooftop, we rear cock, which is actually an eagle for alien people. 
Yet one for me tonight. To you are unaware of the alien language, presume it to be a real human domestic cock. As he climbed up on the dark roof with rope rolling his hand, an eagle started attacking him. But Jipu, being a skillful hunter, managed to catch the eagle and succeeded first trial. On approval, Jipu was then again put to another life risking test. Sir? Yes. Uh your uh, only this uh, first screen is there still. I think I'm. I'm actually. I'm uh, changing. It is not appearing. No, sir. You have to use the arrow key after clicking on the screen number one. The slide slide number one. How, yes. how is it? Yes. How is it? Yes. Now it is. Now it is moving. Uh, um, I was in the slideshow. Yeah, so go to slide number two. No, not this one. Uh, no, this, sir, this can you please show from slide number two, uh, simple show, and then you can stop here. It is not working. Is this same or different one? It is slide number 14, sir. I am asking you to go to slide number two. Okay, okay. Press the up key. Yes, yes. Yes, from, from this. Okay, so you want me to restart? Or no, you sir, you can simply show. Uh, okay, okay. Yes, sir. Then you can continue with the story along with moving the slide. Okay. Uh, then, on approval, Tripu was then again put to another life risking test. It is a customary of the family that in the marriage, a piglet need to be slaughtered for a daughter to symbolize mother's nurturing witch, which we call Azanjula, for which Tipu was again asked to slaughter the pig, which he injured in the paddy field earlier. This time, Kauli knew her father's plan of attempting uh, Kaulip knew her father's plan of attempting Tipu's life and gave him tricks as to how he should overpower the pig. Tipu sharpened his machete for last wild game. On the appointed time, courageous Tipu entered inside pig's tie, did what all Kaulip instructed him earlier, and at last chopped off the Pig. Kauli father asked Tipu, how many family members do you have? Tipu had uh, nine brothers, but in the absence of mine, said eight. Accordingly, a marriage customary for peace was allocated for eight members of Tipu's family. Packed it inside one bamboo basket and in other basket let her daughter Kauli in as she will be traveling to human world and will live among them hereafter. He directed them not to stop on the way, nor leave the Lord for stoppage under any circumstances. While heading to Tripu's village, on nearing his destination, 
he realized that he has nine family members and not eight, and that he had only eight pieces of marriage for one short of number that would create misunderstanding among the family. Forgetting his father's in father-in-law's directive, he then decided to stop near the village stream to chop pork meat for all the nine members. When he chopped for nine and count for rewrapping it, the number remains the same eight. It went on repeatedly the same. Later on, failing his ATM, gave up his decision. He tried to lift up his load again to proceed further, but this time he could not lift up his baggage anymore. He left load on the side of village stream path, went to the village to meet his brother told them about his marriage with a beautiful alien woman, requested them to assist him carry the Lord left near the village stream. In the meantime, when Sipu left his luggage and went to call his brother, an old ugly witch woman by name Muchipili passed by the side of luggage. Speaking to herself, I'm beautiful, who said, I have cooked eye, pointed mouth, sharp teeth. I'm beautiful. Kaulip, on hearing it, couldn't stop laughing at it inside the bamboo basket. Muchipili noticed it, and on finding beautiful Kaulip inside the cage, laughing at her, killed her, and threw her remains towards down the village stream and in disguise entered inside the basket. With full of excitement, Tipu and his brothers reached the spot. However, on reaching the spot, saw an ugly woman inside the basket, not as narrated. Thus, the brothers called it Tipu. What a woman on earth? Couldn't you find a beautiful looking woman? And left him alone without helping him. Tipu, on his surprise, asked, How comes you become so ugly now? To his query, Muchipili responded, While peeping through the holes of the basket to see whether you are coming back to pick me, my eyes became cocked eye. While trying to speak, my mouth became pointed. After Tsipu was convinced, he left, lifted his luggage, which he could not lift it before. To his utter surprise, this time the weight of the load was very light. They reached home and settled together as family. One day, when Tsipu went to fetch water in the village stream, he noticed sprout of a bamboo shoot, collected, collect it for curry. Next morning, as he cooked, he ate on the pot. Inside the boiling pot, it produced a cursing sound. Meaning a liar, a liar woman, a liar woman. Got irritated by it, asked to throw it outside. Later, from where the boiling curry was thrown, a plant of an orange grew out and yielded plentifully. The owner harvested and left one customary share for the tree on the top. Not too long ago, an old woman of the village came in search of any leftover orange in the tree. Knowing the fact of tree's share, out of sympathy, the owner plucked it and gave it away to the urging all women. The old women, in spite of her desire for orange, wrapped and kept it inside her basket on the roof. 
Whenever she is out for field work, an orange would transform into a beautiful woman fairy, jump down from the basket, does all the household chores, pounds, bedi, sweep, wash, and cook for her, and return back to the basket before an old woman comes home in the evening. When an old woman returns, and notice such humanitarian services on regular basis. She would notice in the village, listen, listen. Oh, my fellow villagers, whoever is extending humanitarian service to me during my absence, please come and enjoy what I have. Even if I don't eat, I will serve you for your concerned services rendered to me. Despite her repeated invitation, Villagers would respond among themselves, while we are not being able to manage our own assignment, who will extend help to you? One day, she had decided to get hold of this fairy by herself. She pretended going for field work and peeped in a porch of her abode. As usual, a fairy jumped down from the basket and started engaging in her quarries. While she was busy in her work, an old woman quietly stepped in behind and hugged her from her hip. Fairy pleaded to release, but an old woman loved to live together with her and did not let her go. Fairy then asked for a condition. Never expose me from the sun, otherwise I will be melted. It was agreed upon, and they lived together. At one village annual occasion, Chipu was enjoying top spinning with young boys near an old women's house. Meanwhile, Kaulib was waving handloom inside her house. Whenever boys top enters inside her house from the hall, she let them get inside to collect it. Whereas if she would stop, fall inside, she would push it out through the hole with her waving tool. At one instance, while she was encased in thread knot, she would stop, fall inside, and before she could notice it, she would himself get, got inside and saw cow leap. He requested all women to allow Kaulib to marry him. His request was granted and they lived together. Chipu, with two wives now, had both cherished and challenging family life. One day, he took both wives to the forest to collect firewood for fuel at home. For Kaulib, he collected fairly better wood and for which a messy, tiny branches. On reaching home, Kaulip, without any obstruction, managed to enter the door of the house as her lot was fairly good, but much couldn't, couldn't so as her lot was of messy branches of a tree. Now, Sipu had a mind to kill Muchipili as she deceived him in disguise of Kauli. Sipu told Muchipili to enter the door from backward. Kauli understood his intention. Therefore, to save Muchipili, her co-wife, she advised her to enter from forward, not backward, as told by their husband. Muchipili, not knowing the real care and concern of Kauli, reacted to her saying, Who am I to obey you? I will follow my husband's instruction, and thereby entered from backward.
वॉइस रुक गई है डॉक्टर रेशितो राहुल जी तो डिस्कनेक्ट हो गए हैं शायद उनकी उम्र और गूगल मीट उनके लिए नया है तो उनको थोड़ी इसमें असुविधा महसूस हो रही है या नेटवर्क इशू भी हो सकता है व्याख्यान के श्रोताओं से मेरा निवेदन है और क्षमा प्रार्थना है कि जो हमारे वक्ता हैं वो किसी कारण शायद टेक्निकल रीजन से वो डिस्कनेक्ट हुए हैं आप लोग धैर्य धारण करें करवा रहे हैं आप भावना जी आपने बहुत अच्छा काम करवाया ये सब जी प्रणाम सर नमस्कार नमस्कार देख रहा हूँ वो कुछ दिक्कत हो गई शायद वो व्याख्यान के अंदर इज इट नेटवर्क प्रॉब्लम सर ओके Yes, sir. Please try if you can. Yes, sir. He has got connected. Connected. Okay. Oops. Ah, uh, soon the speaker will be joining the room. Speaker, our time is up. He will connect with us. अपना व्याख्यान का अंतिम चरण हमारे समक्ष प्रस्तुत करेंगे ये मैं समझ सकती हूँ कि यहाँ उनकी भाषा और उसमें भी इंग्लिश में भी जो उनका एक्सेंट बहुत ही अलग तरह का है उसके कारण समझने में दिक्कत आ रही होगी पर हमारा मुख्य उद्देश्य असल में विविधताओं को एक प्लेटफॉर्म पे लाने का था कि हमारे देश में और हमारे देश की विभिन्न संस्कृतियों में प्रकृति के तत्वों को किस तरह से देखा गया है नागालैंड एक ऐसा राज्य है जहाँ पे सभ्यता का विकास एक अलग तरह से हुआ जनजाति जनजाति संस्कृति के रूप में वहां सभ्यता का विकास होता है वहां की जो कहानियां हैं बहुत फैंटेसी भरी हुई बहुत अनरियलिस्टिक लगती है लेकिन उनमें जो निहित भाव है वो हमारी संस्कृति से काफी साम्य रखता है तो देखने के जो है दृष्टिकोण अलग अलग हैं लेकिन बात वही है कि जो पंच महाभूत हैं उनका हमारे जीवन में क्या महत्व है उनके प्रति हमारा आचरण क्या होना चाहिए ये कथा जो उन्होंने आज सुनाई है जो लोक कथा उन्होंने सुनाई है जनजातीय कथा जो सुनाई है उसमें भी यही भाव था और अभी वो स्वयं अपने शब्दों में इस भाव को भी प्रेषित करेंगे यस डॉक्टर चिशी यस कंटिन्यू 
yeah i was telling that uh, how uh, the story relates to the five elements and uh, uh, the to the lens of your culture how you see this five elements so i was telling about yeah. that yes sir thank you so uh, i don't know from which part the connectivity was lost i don't i am not aware but uh, Mm, I, I uh, do you remember in which part the connection was lost? Do you remember? It was the so second, what, second last flight. Second last okay, flight. Okay, okay, that uh, expose exposure in the sun. Uh, she was telling Let that I will obey my uh, husband. Oh, okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yes. Let me connect. Uh, very sorry. Very sorry for the network challenges. Tribu with two wives now had both cherished and challenging life, family life. One day he took both wives to the forest to collect firewood for fuel at home. For cow leaf, he collected fairly better wood and for mutually a messy tiny branches. On reaching home. Cow leap without any obstruction managed to enter the door of the house as her lot was fairly good, but Muchipili could not so as her lot was of messy branches of a tree. Now, Tipu had a mind to kill Muchipili as she deceived him in disguise of cow leap. Tipu told Muchipili to enter the door from backward. Cow leap understood his intention, therefore, to save. Her Muchipili co wife, she advised her to enter from forward, not backward, as told by her, their husband. Muchipili, not knowing the real care and concern of Kaulip, reacted to her, saying, Who am I to obey you? I will follow my husband's instruction, and thereby entered from backward. Tipu, as planned, took the advantage and chopped off Muchipili's leg. And she died later. On the burial place of Muchipili sprout bottle guard. When left over of this cook bottle guard was thrown outside the village gate, Tumsa, a botanical name called Nadgal, tree grew up. And later on, her burial site, tobacco leaf plant sprang up, wherein the addictive spirit dwell in it. Thus, when a person consumes tobacco, an addictive spirit overpower a person, making him her addicted to the substance. Not too long later, Kauli fall prolonged sickness. As being bedridden and hold inside the house for long, Tipu suggested her for a sunbath. Kauli accepted the idea, but cautioned Tipu not to pick. She put to pick her back in a short while. However, she forgot to take back Kaulip inside the house as she got engaged in his duty. Gradually, Kaulip got evaporated into water. Later on, realizing that Kaulip is on a sunbath, she came rushing to pick her up. But by then, unfortunately, Kaulip was not to be seen anymore. Later, from where evaporated water of a cow leaf flowed in, a beautiful lily flower sprang up. This is what is all about the story. And the substance of the story is human beings, when created, were enshrined with cosmic energy. Accordingly, valuing traditional relationship and knowledge concerning universe and environment builds a sense of harmonious community living, a spirit of interdependent living, and a joy of coexistence. Identically, when a person detaches herself and himself with the organized entity that interwovens with the universe encounter adverse feedback. In corporation of innocent and honestly 
life saving life uh, honest living saves life i repeat incorporation of innocent and honest living saves life but its denial ruins life defies nature and pollutes the environment the significance of this folklore to our present day life is from this folklore we see that the agriculture practices cultivation was in existence from long time back the cultivation of crops and paddy was in existence we can connect our present living to this folklore secondly animal husbandry rearing domestic pig and cock in a tribal community especially the nagas you will surprise to see that each and every, every family of the naga tribal will rear at least one kind of domestic animal those who are wealthy those who have thick forests they will rear mitun cow pig dog cat cock any domestic animal they will love to rear and keep with them so from here we see our relationship with the animal and with the domestic animal and knowledge concerning universe and environmentally environment friendly community living like with the wind we have a belief that in the morning wind waves from south to north in the evening the wind wave is from the north to south that is how when saulip was on a lookout of a white boar the evening wind from the north blew and from where he understood that the boar is nearing him so the sign of the wind is well understood by our forefathers and the water when we study scientifically when kaulip uh yeah kaulip was melted it is it is a kind of well proof in our biological setup human body 60% of our uh, human body is com comprising of water so milk that has a relation the sun when there is a ring over the sun we used to say that some important person important personality expired so the signs of all those uh, supernatural climates planets and then supernatural force of divination and soothsayer our forefathers have a power to reconnect with the planets with the lost souls with the dead people and from this the significance the another significant is trial of would be son in law we still practice this in remote areas if a man wants to marry a woman he is put under trial and especially my tribe in in other part of india dowry is paid to the groom but in my tribe i will pay dowry to the bride i will pay dowry to my wife so it is very reversing so this is the system that has the relation with this folklore and practice of azanjula we say azanjula mother's nurturing witch the, the, the mother of a bride birth labor that witch is paid during marriage and also during marriage instead of wedding card in those days we used to uh, share the piece of the meat as a sort of invitation so this folklore has a relationship this folklore has the beginning of this practice in our present day life cottage industry pounding rice waving hen loom was part and parcel of our murong culture in our tribal context we have a murong the village university where every life lessons were taught the folklore folk tales folk dance and the humanitarian services agricultural skills handicraft skills customary laws life lessons so from here we also could understand that murong has its origin from these stories indigenous top spinning top spinning is one of the most important 
indigenous game for the Naga tribals. And it, we have the origin from this folklore. Benevolent fairy, when Kaulip was regenerated to different objects at different level of time, we still have this practice in some remote area. We have a legal trophy practices. Their body is physic their physical body is us like human being, but their spirit is in the form of tiger, monkey, snake, hornbill. So this has its root from this folklore. And the humanitarian service of what Kaulip has done, the fairy done for the old age, our tribal has a deep heart for hospitality. We are known for good hospitality. We are known for the humanitarian service, especially to the orphan and to the aged people. And it had its origin from this folklore. The festival is very much there. And a tribal traditional medicine, the nutgal tree that was sprung up from uh, barrel place, the tobacco that was sprung up from Muchipili's uh, grave is, has a traditional medicinal value. This uh, nut, nut gall tree, we powder it and that counters the poison in case if we are consumed with any food poison. This nut gall is best medicine to remove the food poison from our body. If you have a severe diarrhea, which medical medicine could not, uh, cannot work, this nut gall will certainly work. And very importantly, even the tobacco. Tobacco we use for the stoppage of blood flow. And at last, the lily flower. Kaulip was transformed into a beautiful lily flower. And which we, in our tribal culture, in remote areas, many households, many families will love to have this flower in their garden, in their house. This is all about my, our folklore, our presentation. Thank you so much. I have, maybe I've taken much of your time. At least forgive me because of network challenges. I am bound to take so much additional time. Please forgive me. And this is all about supernatural realm of Muchupili and Tagalyu or Simi Naga tribal folklore. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Heshito, for uh, your enlightening session. And uh, it was quite thought provoking. As far as uh, I know, um, there's a uh, Nagal in Nagaland people uh, have many beliefs uh, which are considered blind beliefs, but I think uh, those beliefs should retain because uh, they keep the uh, human race in limits and uh, otherwise uh, if we don't have such beliefs and uh, stories then there is a fear of encroaching the whole nature as we are doing now um, nature is believed to be alive there with uh, invisible forces and the minor deities then spirits uh, in to which the priests and the so-called medicine men they mediate to. कहा जा सकता है कि नागालैंड की संस्कृति में चोट पर नहीं किंतु बोध परक समझ है और इसीलिए वहाँ संस्कृति के साथ में प्रकृति का जो साहचर्य देखने को मिलता है वो यहाँ मेन लैंड में जो मुख्य है भारत की उसमें वो लुप्त हो चुका है एक अतिक्रमण जो हम प्रकृति के ऊपर करते जा रहे हैं हमारा अधिकार क्षेत्र बढ़ा के उसके अधिकार क्षेत्र को सीमित करते जा रहे हैं उसी को इंगित करते हुए इनकी कथा भी थी और अभी उन्होंने जो समापन किया है उसमें जो सार बताया है उसमें भी यही रिफ्लेक्ट होता है तो को एग्जिस्टेंस की बात डॉक्टर हर्षित ने करी है विच इज द की टू प्रिजर्व द नेचर एंड 
नेचर जो हमें देता है जो प्रकृति हमें देती है वो प्रिविलेज है वो हमारा अधिकार नहीं है हम जितने कर्तव्य पूर्ति करेंगे उतने अधिकार हमें प्राप्त होते हैं अधिकार दरअसल अर्जन से आता है अधिकार अर्जित किया जाता है जितने हम कर्तव्य करते हैं उतना अधिकार किसी को प्राप्त होता है यहाँ हम कर्तव्य विमुख होके सिर्फ अधिकारों की ओर बढ़ते जा रहे हैं जिसका परिणाम हम स्पष्ट अपने आज के स्पेशली आज के समय में हम देख रहे हैं उसे भोग भुगत ही रहे हैं तो इस थॉट प्रोवोकिंग सेशन के लिए डॉक्टर हर्षित को हमारे स्पीकर को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद और हमारे सुधी श्रोताओं से मैं निवेदन करूंगी कि यदि वे कोई प्रश्न करना चाहते हैं देर आर एनी क्वेश्चन एनी क्वेरीज दे आर प्लीज इन्वाइटेड तो आई अगेन थैंक एवरीवन मैं सभी का पुनः धन्यवाद करती हूँ आभार प्रेषित करती हूँ संस्कृति विभाग की ओर से शुभ्रा नाग हमारी एक बहुत ही विदुषी जो श्रोता है उनका मैसेज है वंडरफुल फोकलोर्स दैट एनरिच ह्यूमन मोरल्स एंड वैल्यूज टू लिव एंड लव नेचर एज एन इंटीग्रल पार्ट ऑफ देयर लाइफ जी शुभ्रा जी यू हैव वॉच इट राइट The message is conveyed successfully. Thank you for your message. It inspires. Uh, अगले शनिवार फिर हम चार बजे नए वक्ता नए विषय के साथ पंच महाभूतों का चिंतन करेंगे तब तक के लिए आप सभी को प्रणाम